The first mention of the word glory in the Bible, in Genesis 31, 32, around there, talked about material blessing. The touch of wealth. Lift your hands. The world understands that. I said the world understands that. Matthew 6.32 says the Gentiles seek after all these things. But he said, you seek first my kingdom and all these other things will come after you. Lift your hands and let's pray right now. I had to make that point because there's several ways that God wants to manifest himself. His blessing can speak. But still after that, you need him again. Lift your hands. But see, we can't be too spiritual. We say, well... The glory, the spirit, this mystical feeling and substance. No, it has to produce something. Even God is organized. God is not crazy and he's not spooky and he's not weird like some people. Like some devils want to try to mock his work. You know, I know a man of God who's very anointed who had a guest speaker in his church in Orlando, Florida many years ago. And uh, he heard about the manifestations of people laughing and falling down and all that. He was offended at first. God had to work with him. But I liked his perspective. So God can do things beyond the normal. Please lift your hands. Not, not, it manifestations, I, I, I wouldn't argue with God, but let, but let it really be God. I said, let it really be God. But his wealth is with those who walk with him. His tre he gives power to get wealth. His treasure is with those who fear him. His secret is with those who fear him. You talk about being rich and blessed, you haven't seen it till you walk with God some more. Every person that ever walked with God in fullness, even in the Bible we see this, became wealthy financially. Abraham, they said he was worth more than 200 billion U.S. dollars. David Paid for the temple of Solomon in the talents of gold. They said it was worth hundreds of billions of dollars. Solomon was the richest man of his generation. Even when another queen saw him, she fell down. You talk about wealth. Job, I told you about him. Just his camels were worth billions. Lift your hands. But the touch of God was there on those men. That's why we see them written about in the Bible. I tell you, there's a volume to be written in the next dispensation, the next millennium. My name's going to be in there. All the exploits I've done. And let me prophesy to you, those of you that are around us, this is a season of people coming back, coming, 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 coming. We didn't do anything to get you to come today. Not much, just maybe someone told you about the meeting. This place will be too small. And, and there'll always be those few people that don't understand, and they just come to see, and they go, eh, well, whatever, we don't need them. They just came to hear spectators get a miracle. I call them our stormy weather or fair weather friends. When things are rocky, they come running. What's the prophet saying? When it's okay, they stay home. Stormy weather friend. Seeker, user-friendly Christianity. They don't want to go deep. They don't want to get powerful. They don't want to get anointed. That's okay. I still love you. Lift your hand. How many want more of God? I tell you, I want more of God. <sighs> You're talking about forgetting the past. Yeah, I, sometimes I want to forget what happened an hour ago. Me in Kenya. And after everybody left today and was doing some things on my property, I... I just walked outside and I felt so, so good, you know. The birds, all these beautiful birds were in, the, in my trees and gardens and I just felt the presence of God, you know. It's wonderful. Please put that in your spirit and your mind. If someone says, what did he talk about? Saying, getting to have the presence of God more in our life. That I need the glory of God. I want it. I need it. I got to have it. Lift your hands. He will bless you as you walk with him.